InfluxDB can ingest millions of data points every second and integrate with hundreds of different systems and solutions. And our schemaless database lets you simply push your data into InfluxDB with minimal setup. But to efficiently handle all this data, it needs to be structured in a specific way. We call this data model line protocol, and it has four different components, measurement, tags, fields, and timestamp. So how do you map unstructured data into line protocol? Let's say you're collecting battery data from a bunch of IoT sensors. In JSON, a single data point might look like this. For many of us, it's helpful to visualize this data in columns, like this. Here, we see different data points from multiple sensors. Let's make a measurement called sensor battery from this one. In line protocol, metadata are represented as key value pairs. You can classify these pairs as tags or fields. Tag values are always strings, while field values can be integers, floats, strings, or booleans. Tags aren't required in InfluxDB, but they're very helpful. InfluxDB indexes tags, so they must consist of bounded data to avoid runaway cardinality. If you have more than one tag, we call that a tag set, and each key value pair is separated by a comma. Fields function the same way as tags. They're comma-separated key value pairs, but InfluxDB does not index the field values, so they can be unbounded. The final component is the timestamp. InfluxDB supports nanosecond precision. If you don't include a timestamp with your data, InfluxDB automatically adds a timestamp based on the clock of the host machine when the data arrives. To put all these elements together, it's important to remember that spaces determine how InfluxDB interprets a data point. The first unescaped space delimits the measurement and the tag set from the field set. The second unescaped space delimits the field set from the timestamp. Put it all together and you get InfluxDB line protocol. To learn more, visit www.influxdata.com.